morning. Uh, I've taken Val to the doctor again today, so I'm still here doing my morning rounds right now, as you can see. Um, I've got three fed animals. He usually uh, freckles is finicky in the morning. He's still hanging out with mom. So now I'm going to go up and uh, take care of the uh, the cats upstairs and all the lizards and rats and whatnot. All right, so there's Mama Kitty. Well, she's been coming out a lot. She won't stick around for too long. She'll just stare at me like, what are you doing here? We've got Mojo back, back in the corner. She's usually out too as well. But I'll make my rounds. The first thing I do is deal with the rats because they usually come greet me. Where's Sebastian? Where's frickin' Frack? There they are. Pumpkin and spice, actually. There's one. Where's the other? Where's your sister? Oh, and there goes Mama Kitty. Where's the other? Come on, where are you? Where's your sister? All right. Alright, so lately these guys have been hanging out underneath here. So there's Mama Kitty. And there's Mojo. So they're kind of venturing out. They still don't like me. So, uh, but since the doll can't come up here to keep them company, it's just me they're all going to have to deal with. So the next thing I do is turn on the, wall, the, the power here for the lizards. Ooh, so they don't have some daylight. There we go. There's our, our dragons. Their water seems to be okay. There's a little bit of problem. I have to give uh, Kernunas some water here. This looks like his watering system hasn't been working correctly. You can tell he wants some water. So this is uh, our Euromastic, who we never see, or at least I never see him. He plays dead for uh, for Sarah. These are the baby Cresteds. Just gotta give them a drink. Here's one right there. somewhere, but I water them. Uh, Euromastic has water. I need to put water in water balls for the rats. I never see uh, Pascal because uh, he's a nocturnal, so he's just crashed out. Every now and then I'll check to see if he moves or something. He'll piss at me. And then there's um, our leopard gecko. Hey, Mr. Leopard Gecko. Huh? Hey, Mr. Leopard Gecko. Are you in a food coma? Huh? There you are. There you are. You're alive. Sometimes they scare me. A little worried about the rats there for a while because only one of pumpkin and spice would come out. And what else? I've got to feed uh, Mama and Mojo, so I got uh, some nice clean bowls up for them. Give them some good propylene, keep them healthy. 
And uh, so I got them some nice food. Bye guys. Scoop the litter. Got all the critters. They should all be happy. As happy as they can be. We're almost at the point where we can let those two out. Uh, we have pretty much half a month. Beginning of October, we can let them out. So, good morning, everybody. I am up and dressed and got my fancy dancy little boot on and getting ready to go see the cardiologist. Not sure what kind of appointment we're going to have today, if it's just like an office office visit talking finding out what's what or if they're going to do any tests or blood work or anything like that on me so kind of tired had a bad night last night was up pretty much most of the night with a very sour stomach so but we are off and then kevin's gonna go to work and and here here's my package for nikki and john and the baby so can't wait it's not going to be this weekend we see them, but probably next weekend. So, yeah. Thanks, Freckles. Yeah. <laughs> Am I having a deja vu moment or what? Must be. <laughs> Still a nice, sunny, sunny, shiny day. No, it's too bright. It's good for you. No. Okay, so we're back from the doctor's. The cardiologist and I am going to let Kevin explain everything because he understands it better than I do. Well, I don't know how much I understand it, but we, she does have what's long called long QTC, which is when uh, her heart beats, it kind of pauses at the bottom. It doesn't immediately go back up. And sometimes it gets a longer pause, and sometimes it's a smaller pause. But it's kind of dangerous because um, it, it creates heart flutters, and heart flutters could lead to pulmonary um, oh, death, basically. Now, it's not that severe, what we're told now. When she was on another medication called Geodon, it was very severe. When they stopped her on that, it, um, it got much better. She is, however, on another medication that is... Uh, slowing down her the length of her of her QTC and that's Prozac and unfortunately that's what's uh, keeping her um, OCD more or less in check so we can't stop taking that she also has a uh, blood pressure which is kind of um, all over the place now they took her blood pressure lying down and it was high when she stood up it dropped drastically so um, she has uh, issues with blood pressure and um, uh, just and that's why she gets dizzy when she steps up. That's why she has um, falls a lot. And uh, the doctor said, to "Really, at this point, nothing that we can do about it. They are going to give her a stress test. Um, so since she's wearing a boot, they're going to have to do it as a chemical stress test. So usually they make you run on a treadmill." But they can't do that. So this is a chemical stress test just to make sure that their heart otherwise is in good shape. Um, so a lot of her problems with the chest pains and the dizziness has to do with all the medications that she's on. And the um, last thing we really want to do is start messing around with her medication because it's working pretty good right now. So Megan's a celebrity. <laughs> Well, that's for the animals, though. That's still good, know. isn't it? So what happened? Tell us how you got recognized. Well, it was actually kind of funny. There was this little boy who was walking around the store. What store were you? Stater Brothers? I was in Stater Brothers. And, uh, and he, kept, he kept looking at me, and I kept thinking, this kid's weird. Why is he looking at me like, like that? Like, how old would you say he was? He was probably, like, 13 or 14. He's young. And he just kept looking at me, and I'm like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> and so I kind of smiled at him, but I kind of kept going, because, you know, I'm trying to get stuff done. And so then I, like, got up to the register, and he, uh, he, came, he came up to me, and he goes, do you know Nikki and John? <laughs> and I was like, 
yeah and he goes oh well I watched their vlogs and I was like really and he goes yeah and I was like so you know who I am then and he goes yeah and so we shook hands and everything and uh ow and then um and then I I was it was kind of kind of stuck because I was in the middle of um the guy at the register was like oh well there's if you get two cokes it's the same as getting or if you get four, it's the same as getting two. And so I had I had to like run back and grab some some um, coke. So I was like, okay, well I'll be right back. <laughs> like ran over to get some coke. And he uh, when I got back, he was gone. So I um, I finished uh, paying and everything. And um, and then I went and found him and talked to him a little bit more. And his mom said that um, that when he recognized me, that he was super excited, and that um, and that every time he finishes his homework, he watches both the neighbors' vlogs and Nikki and John's vlogs. So you don't didn't get his name though. No? Mm mm, I didn't. Aww. So I want to give a shout out to the little boy that I met at Stater Brothers. I wish I got your name. I didn't, but now that I think back to it, I was like, I wish I did. And by the way, he had an awesome t-shirt on. It was a zombie t-shirt, I'm pretty sure, with like a, he was like getting shot in the head. It was pretty awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the neighbors. Thanks for watching the neighbors, everyone. And in particular, little boy from the State of Brothers. Miss Ebony. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Dan's chicken! Okay. <laughs> You're the only cat that gets on our counter. You know that. She's spoiled. She's a special kitty. I feel like I should put him in something else now. Hello, Boomer. Did you eat it, Ebony? Did Mr. you like a piece of chicken? Boomer. Freckles would like a piece of chicken. Nope. Look at him. He just wagging his tail, saying, feed me, feed me, feed me. He's fat. He doesn't get chicken. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Guess what time it is. It's time for Megan to answer her phone. <laughs> no. It's time to pick on Megan. Yay. <laughs> She's playing a game. Beep, 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 beep. I touched it. Well, come on, you I gotta watch. Okay. You gotta do shout outs. Shout out. It's time for our shout outs. Yay. Dana Beasall, how tall are you? <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> and Terry Johnson, he said that he could probably get on board with a zombie Daryl. Yeah, with an arrow right through his head. Come on now. Come on now. Don't pick on my Daryl. Yeah. Don't pick on my Daryl. And look what you missed out on. If I was to learn how to edit, it would be the Valerie show. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Valerie. All the time. 24-7. So it would be like a horror movie. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> My own little horror flick. Allison Cameron. Cameron, glad you are loving the ghost vlogs. We got the finale yet to come on the Saddleback Inn, and we are working on getting our next investigation lined up. Keeping our fingers crossed that it comes up soon because we want to keep those ghost vlogs coming for you guys. And EJ Giggy. Mm -hmm. Giggy. He was concerned that nobody was upstairs taking care of all the animals upstairs because I couldn't get up and down the stairs. But Megan and Kevin are taking care of all the animals upstairs. And Kevin did some videotaping today of the animals upstairs. So you will get to see that That's they are right. being taken care of I take still. care of them in the morning and Megan takes care of them in the evening. Since it's a lot of work, we're just going to barbecue them. Yeah, tasty, <laughs> tasty lizard on a stick. No! I will crawl up the stairs before that happens. So. Is 
and it's cooking my. That's cooking a lot of people. Yes, we're gonna start a scroll. So Stop. it is now time for neighborhood community shout outs. Oh and we're gonna let Megan start. Can you hear? We're gonna let you start. <laughs> I dare you to say them as fast as you can. I can't. You do it. Jack Adams, Katie Coraline, Lucy Blue Bones, Megan Goss. Yes. Christopher Trade Show, Selena Glove Numbers. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? Sagina, <laughs> Selena G Love 487, also known as Brian. <laughs> I'm confused now. Here. Okay, sir. Okay, so Tom Show. Rex25059. Dana B. Saul. That's a hard one for her to start on. <laughs> ZZ Epic Dudes. ZZ. Dudes. No. No. ZZ Epic Dudes. ZZ. ZZ Epic Dudes. Lucy and Autumn. Samantha L. <laughs> I don't like this game. Come on, Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take over. Domestic Goddess. Uh, Alien K18, also known as Kimmy. Domest yeah. <laughs> Domestic. I'm back on Domestic. <laughs> Destiny Hall. Sammy and Air. The Abyss, 92882. Meet the Presleys. Charlena Higdon. Skylar Chantel, Shaylee and Jaden. Ground Dome. Whitney Broderson. Justina C. SGS, SG Sprint Car 1. SGC Sushi. <laughs> Clay Bad with Usernames. Amanda Nichols. Eric C. Does Amanda Nichols have nickels? I don't know. Amanda, do you have any nickels? I'm sure she has some. <laughs> Daphne Sheehan. Karen Fry. Grace Little. Beauty Queen 12. Big D Jr. Thomas Plays HD. Amber Rusterholtz. Kat Larkin. Abby Sasse. Renee Carey. Angie Lupus Life. And Terry Johnson. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And that we will work. see you all tomorrow. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.